Sir Ian McKellen, welcome. Good morning. I didn't call you that last time I met you. No, no, you needn't call it me now, but... Um... Uh, it's, it's a problem for Americans because we're a little flummoxed by titles and mm. so on. And I heard a gentleman once refer to Sir Gielgud all through an interview with the gentleman you were referring <laughs> to. Uh, so we, we find it hard sometimes. Oh, to Sir Ian, get... Mr. McKellen. Yeah. You know, uh, the convention in the theatre itself is that you don't use the title, so I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. most of my life still. No uh, ad ever said with Sir Lawrence no. Olivier, so did it? Not, no. yeah. Now we have Sir John Gielgud, Sir Ralph Richardson, Sir Peter O'Toole. I believe no. no. It, but we had there was Sir Noel Coward, Sir Lawrence Olivier, and uh, I must confess, I'm a little tired of this. What's wrong with American actors? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be British for a start, and, and you have, on the whole, to have spent most of your life earning no money at all at the behest of the nation, not gallivanting off to Hollywood to make a lot of money and be yeah. very famous. Th that is reward in itself. Oh, so that's why there's, there was no suspense here, Tracy. Exactly. Those are certainly yes. deserved to be. Oh, but th there are a few There are a few people. There's uh, Sir General Schwarzkopf, but he's not allowed to use the title because he's American, but he's a knight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your, your German pronunciation of Schwarzkopf didn't make him sound very American, but in fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could Bob Hope, by the way, be... He was born in England. Oh, yes. Well, yes. I don't suppose he's been paying any taxes. Is he in England? I think they or made anywhere, a lot probably. of money off of him mm. there, though. I asked him once, uh, since you were born in England, people forget that. When you hear God save the Queen, does some part of you still rise? <laughs> and I didn't mean to word it that way. And he came right out of the chair and said, hey, I'm going to use that over there. <laughs> you maintain, as, along with your friend Marlon Brando, that all good people, uh, all people are good actors if they just want to be. His way of putting it is, we've acted all our lives. Your mother said, did you pee on the toilet seat? Mm. And you say no, and you know you did, and you, mm. yet you're convincing. Mm. And as much as I'm willing to uh, say balderdash to him, I did. Because <clears throat> otherwise, I could have been the same Stanley Kowalski you were. Mm. I think that's only the reply one gives to people who are absolutely, totally amazed that anyone should spend any part of their life professionally acting. Mm. And it's just a, a, a rebuttal to, to, to that amazement. And uh, if Brando said that, he's quite true that uh, we all, we're all quite proficient liars. And, and even yeah. if we don't, if we don't, we're not liars. We we do actually uh, make ourselves fit in uh, with our environment. I mean, people are very conscious of the clothes they wear, aren't they? I mean, from sure. a very very early age, I remember being very conscious whether I was wearing the right clothes for school. And still, right. I've walked, I've, these are my clothes. I picked to you know fit in with yours, and here we are, roughly the same you know <laughs> sort of outfits. And later in the day, when, when I go uh, jogging or I'm um, sitting at home on my own, then I'll, I'll change the costume to fit in with the activity. Right. Well, isn't that, isn't that connected with what actors do? I suppose it is. Mm. It probably hasn't occurred to people. But when we're caught talking to ourselves on the street, someone hears us and then we pretend we were singing and go, dum dum ba bum yeah. bum 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 I suppose yeah, that's so Or we hail a taxi and it doesn't stop and we pretend we're really pretend we're scratching, scratching our head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but still, um, then you have to factor into it genius, if you'll look away from me now, as in your case yeah, and no, Mr. No, Brando's and, and some others. It's, com it's uh, communication. The ac acting is communication and persuading <coughs> the people that you're with that uh, you're who you're pretending to be. And pretense is an awful lot about um, life. We know what we actually uh, are ourselves, or we think we know, and, uh, and we just project parts of ourselves mm -hmm. and we select. We're always ourselves, but we select, and, and actually you do that on stage too. It's always Ian McKellen just selecting part of himself and having worked on part of himself to convince the audience that actually he's more like Richard III yeah. than he is himself. It's, it's not, it, it isn't that uh, are you, are you complicated. Sure, sure you want to reveal the secrets of acting? Well, that's as far as I would go. Place doing it. Okay, don't, mm -hmm. don't tell him the rest. Uh, interesting that Olivier always had a false nose, even in a so-called straight part where he was not playing Shylock or yes. Fagin or some elaborate yeah. character makeup. Um, but people, and people said it gave him comfort. Yes, and I, I, th I think biographers are, are right when they say that in his private life too, he spent a lot of time disguising himself. So you could never quite be sure when you met L Larry what he was doing. And I mean, he usually looked like a businessman. That was probably because uh -huh. he was going into the office to not to do the accounts, but to be the administrator of the theatre. And uh, he, he very, very rarely looked like an actor. He, he, First he, time I saw him, he was walking on Sixth Avenue, and I wanted to say to the people around. The that's Lawrence Olivier. This mm. is your, maybe your only chance in your life to see him. It, but he mm. did, as you say, he looked like somebody maybe on his way to Wall Street. Mm. Nothing mm. like Hamlet, nothing like Richard no. III, and no. nothing like any of the other things I'd seen him in. I can't wait uh, to see you as Richard III. And the onlyest thing that bothers me is 
how can I overcome my problem of being put off when a play is moved into another time period and then the verse seems to be at odds with the costumery and setting? Well, I think you should get over that problem, certainly if you can ever <laughs> see me act, because whenever I've done Shakespeare, I've always done it in modern or modernish dress, which is what Shakespeare himself used to do. I mean, when Shakespeare did Julius Caesar, the, originally, uh -huh. they did it in um, uh, doublet and hose. Uh, David Garrick played uh, King Lear in the 18th century in a full bosom wig and, and, and a frock coat. They didn't bother with togas. And no, the idea that, 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 that anything should be historically accurate was mm -hmm. an obsession of the Victorians who, who got very uh -huh. absorbed in medievalism and, and all that sort of thing. So we've just re reverted to what was always the case of treating the plays as if they were mm -hmm. ab about our life today as much as they were about the, the life of the, of the historical period in which they're set. And as for the, the blank verse somehow belonging to doublet and hose, I don't believe that. The point about blank verse is not that it's old, but that it's, it's, it's very, very speakable and easy to understand and very follows the rhythms of everyday life even today. So I, I don't... I'm, if you see a production, you think, ah, oh, this is wonderful verse speaking, something's gone wrong, I think. Yeah. How, however, you, you do see what I mean, that if a cab driver says, my love swears that she is made of truth, I do believe her, though I know she lies. I'd give him a huge a little tip. I, I mean, on the stage in a modern dress production. Right. Okay, I'm not going to win this argument. I don't even see it as an argument. Do you know Robert Benchley's brilliant line that closed one question forever? That the plays of Shakespeare were not written by Shakespeare, but by someone else of the same name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.